Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Monica. We're back with another episode of Moon Ultra, Sun and Ultra Moon Road to VGC uh, 2018 battles here. Um, we do have a new team here. I did say that I was going to. Um... Oh shoot! Wait, no, yeah, this should be right. Never mind. Um, I don't know why I just thought about that. Um, but yeah, they say I would have three episodes of each team, um, and this should be the fourth episode of the series that we do have going on. Um, so we do have a new team going on in this episode. Now this is going to be a copy team. I don't want to take credit for this team. Um, the last team I did build it myself, but this is going to be a copy team. Um, this is it from Cybertron VGC. Make sure you guys go check out his channel um, and his Twitter as it does help a lot. Um, but I didn't really look at his video. I just looked at the team as I was watching his videos. Um, so I did look at his team. I do like the team. Uh, I never have used a sand team, period. So a lot of this is new to me. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go and get straight into it. Um, so we do have the Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele, uh, I believe. Celesteela, uh, what is that? Whimsicott? Yeah. Con uh, uh, Crocodile, and we have Marowak. Um, okay, so we do have Tyranitar, Excadrill, Salamence, Rotom, Acre Slash, and Bulu. Um, I do want to bring Tyranitar. I really do want to bring Tyranitar as he deals with... Uh, Coco, Celesteela, and Marowak. He really does deal with a lot. I don't know if I want to lead with him. Actually, I do want to lead with him, to be completely honest. Um, him and maybe Salamence. Salamence, I think, really does have a good lead. Um, maybe Aegislash. Well, no, we're going for Earthquakes. You know what? Yeah, we'll go Tyranitar, Salamence. I do want to bring Excadrill in the back, and then maybe Aegislash, because Aegislash does deal with a lot of his team. Uh, yeah, not unlock Aegislash in the back. I might have made a mistake. Uh, but we will confirm that. I really don't have anything for Crocodile, except specifically for the um, Rotom. I just didn't want to really bring Rotom, because it expects for Crocodile and maybe Marowak, because it doesn't have anything to do with the team. Um, but yeah, I was really on a crunch, because I was trying to get the intro in. Um, but yeah, now that we get the intro in, like I said, it's Cybertron BGC. Make sure you go check him out. Um, he is a really good BGC content creator. Um, and yeah, so we do lead with Femi and Whimsicott to begin with. This is what I was more or less expecting. It is Femi, not Lele. Do note that. And that is the water type, which is... Eh, eh, that's really bad. Alright, so we did get the Intimidate off, but both of them are special attackers, so I really don't think it matters. Um, this is bad. This is actually really bad. Um... Because he can get a Tailwind or literally anything he wants off. I think I have to switch out Terrence right now. I'm going to go into... What does Excadrill have? Excadrill does have Iron Head. That's okay. That's pretty much what I was looking for. So I do want to switch into Excadrill here. Um, and I kind of want to do something right now. I don't want to taunt, or Tailwind, because he can easily go for Taunt and then I'm screwed. So I think I'm going to go for the, uh, no, let's Hyper Voice first turn. Let's just Hyper Voice first turn. If we get rid of Silence, we get rid of Silence. There's really nothing I can do. We're such a, we're on such a time. I'm trying to say other things that it just focus on the video, but like we're just on such a time crunch. Um, so yeah. And I did take notice that you guys really are liking this series. Uh, this, the BGC series is getting a lot of views lately. So just for that, I might upload daily. Um, see, I knew I should have tailwind. I knew I should have tailwind. I do have speed though. He doesn't go. To oh, he doesn't have focus sash. That is so good. Yes. What is he going for? Moonblast onto the Salamence. No. What the blaze that were just made? The plays that were just made. I don't know if I outspeed Feeny still. Um, but if the Tailwind takes immediate effect, I still outspeed Feeny. Wow! The plays that were just made. I did not think I had that good of a first turn. I thought he would have seen right into that, to be completely honest. Uh, Mirrorike is not that fast. The sand is up, so I'm going to say I do outspeed. Um, so I'm going to go for a full out draw run on the Mirrorwack. And then from here. I want to Tailwind on my own team. Because um, if I do outspeed, outspeed Feeny, I can Tailwind and definitely outspeed everything else. Yeah, so we do fall through the Drill Run. So with the Sand, we still do outspeed. It's going to immediately Oko Marowak. Oh my god, we're going to win! First battle's a win! <laughs> this is wild! So Feeny's going to go for the Mean Blast, so we don't outspeed Feeny. I don't know if it was a speed tie. 
I don't know what was up. We don't have speed team. That is something to take note of. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I do want to switch into Age Slash this turn. Just because Tyranitar, I just, I just want to save Tyranitar in the back because we get Sand back up. Or, um, dependent on Tapu Koko. Yeah, so Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have Levitate. Okay. He does have Fairy type moves, though. Does Tyranitar have a Salt Vest? No, he's Choice Scarfed. Ooh, he doesn't have. Shoot, he doesn't have. Earthquake, though. That sucks. Um, okay, so I do need to be really smart about this. So I'm gonna go for the Protect first turn, definitely. Um, and then I want to... I'm gonna be slower. I honestly want to get rid of Coco. Because Spini is gonna be slow. I have Z-Power... Yeah, Z-Power Ghost moves. So yeah, let's go ahead and steal Flash Cannon Coco. Um, I do want to protect with Excursor, I feel like he's going to get targeted. Oh, Coco, dang it. I feel like, yeah, since I had the Excursor out, he might think that I was going to target him with Excursor. Perfect. You know what? That's honestly perfect. That is completely perfect. I really do wish I would have targeted him with me, though. I was honestly thinking about it, but I didn't want him to just safely get away with it. Um, now do I outspeed? That's the question. Honestly, I think I just straight up go for the drill run onto Cap Top Coco. Just saying I outspeed. Um, yeah, and then I feel like I have to King Shield. Just so I can keep Aegis Slash. Um, I mean, just in case. You never know. Because we can definitely take out Tabuffini with the Age Slash, so I think we do need to keep Age Slash alive. Because I could definitely go completely offensive this turn, which might have been the better play. He does go first. Oh, I was wide. I was so close to clicking wide guard. I swear I was so close. I do have to beat Fini, though. So that's good. Perfect. That should deal with Tapu Koko. And I'm pretty sure that's a win. I was so close to clicking... King Shield. He's gonna go for the Moon Blast. On to yeah, that was that was predicted. Yeah, this is a win. What first game is a win? Wild. This is absolutely wild. Wild. Yeah, and then there's slower. Yeah, this is this is GG. Go for the Z move. Um, Ghost move. As I'm pretty sure she's. No, she's water, right? I have to double check this real quick. Definitely have to double check this real quick. Uh, top Fini, right? She's water. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna go for the steel cannon here. Um, I, yeah, I guess just rock slide, uh, flash cannon. I don't know why I keep saying steel. Rock slide, flash cannon. Um, you know what? I probably should just went for the ghost move. Oh, flinch, perfect. I don't think that flinch really mattered at all. I mean, it was there, so. It was there. Yo, first game, first win. Dope. Alright, so now that we're waiting for a battle, um, I did want to say that I did notice that the views um, on the VGC series did go up quite a bit since the first episode. Um... So I have decided if I can get enough episodes out and if my schedule's not too busy, um, as I do have a kid and a job and just, just life's, life's busy, um, I would like to get a video up every single day. Um, definitely would like to get a video up every single day just so that you know, we can get more views, more videos out for you guys and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so we do actually have a win, which does bring us up back to 1500. Hopefully we don't get completely bodied now. Um, but yeah, this, 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 uh... Let's go with something else. Yeah, Maxi and Archie. This, this team is really nice. Um, Excadrill, Tyranitar is a really nice combo. That really did deal with a lot. Um, I really do wish I could have used Tyranitar a little better. Um, just to see, you know, what Tyranitar can do. And um, we do have to have a Bulu. I know to have a Bulu is really nice. I maybe could have bought Bulu for Feeny. Um, help deal with that. 
Um, Rotom, like I said, Rotom possibly. Pause. 1624. Oh, this is a loss. Oh, they're using this team. Yeah, this team has been going around quite a bit um, on the ladder. Okay, so we have Landorus, Cresselia, Feeny. Okay. Okay. So I definitely want to keep Tyranitar. Um, as Tyranitar, I can deal with Age of Slash. Then again, Rotom can too. Or not Age of Slash, Landorus. Rotom does deal with Charizard also. So I might start off with Rotom. Um, Feeny, I might bring Bulu in the back. Maybe. E I don't really like Bulu, to be honest. Um, Excadrill, Excadrill could deal with Age of Slash. Excadrill with Charizard. Excadrill could deal with. Yes, definitely want to bring Excadrill. Um, so I'm thinking going Rotom. I might want to bring, I, I honestly do want to bring Rotom. Um, Rotom. Ah, oh, hurry up. Rotom, I want to say Salamence, but I don't want to say Salamence. Let's go Age of Slash. Rotom, Age of Slash, and then Tyranitar, Excadrill, definitely. Um, Ah, I don't know, that was really rushed, that was really rushed. Ooh, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. I just brought Age Slash just with the Cresselia, because I really don't have anything else to do with Cresselia. I do have Assurance on Ch uh, Tyranitar. Um, that does help a lot, but still, it's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Alright, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Landorus and Fiend. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, he doesn't get the Intimidate off, that's what I meant. Um, Intimidate off, uh, from here, I think I Wide Guard. I think I definitely Wide Guard just in case he decides to stay in. I don't think he will, but just in case, I do definitely think I Wide Guard, and I go for the Thunderbolt onto the Fini slot, just to deal out some damage. Um... Yeah, like I said, in wide guard this person, he might not even have Cresselia, to be completely honest. I, I knew he was going to withdraw it, but just in case, um, he's going to go for the Cresselia. Hopefully his Fini does not instantly take out my Aegis Slash. I don't know what he can do. Um, just in case, go for the wide guard. Um, Thunderbolt onto the Fini slots. That does a crap ton of damage onto Fini. That's a crit. Nature's Madness. Uh, that's a grass move, if I'm not mistaken. Will it KO? No, not at all. We're, we're too bulky for that. We're too bulky for that. What is. Get out of here. Get out of here. What is Rotom's item? Is that a salt vest? It's not a salt vest. A citrus berry. Perfect. Ooh. Well, if only we did a little bit more damage. Um. Do I hydro pump that slot just in case it switches into Landris? I think I do. Yeah, I want to say I Hydro Pump that slot, because I'm pretty sure it'll still knock out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and Hydro Pump, and then... Well, I don't know, 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 I don't know. Yeah, we'll go to Hydro Pump, and then Shadow Ball the Cresselia. Never Ending Nightmare, the Cresselia. Nature's Madness, he is faster than me. That's not gonna... Yeah, that's doing nothing. Hydro Pump, he didn't switch out. Ah no! I was hoping it would kill Psy Shock onto the Rotom. Perfect. Pop my Citrus Berry. We're all good. All right, and the Never Ending Nightmare. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is fine. Just in case some Z moves are copyrighted. And um, so hopefully this isn't definitely. Wait, why? Oh, I was like, why didn't he stance change? What's going on? <laughs> Never ending. Will this KO? Will this KO? And I do want to give props. This is one of the dopest Z moves. Oh my lord! Yo, the plays we are making. Fini is almost dead. Cresselia is gone. He's gonna bring in Charizard. That's fine. That's completely fine. I do want to bring in here. Let's swap Rotom into Excadrill because I don't. 
do want to get the stand up because if we even if we lose Tyranitar, at least we get the stand up. And then with that, I do want a King Shield Age Slash. And then I think I'll switch Age Slash out for Rotom, just predicting he's gonna go for a Fire type move onto Age Slash. Okay, this is perfect. Charizard Art Y. Ooh, and I'm Choice Scarf too, so I can instantly Rock Slide and knock them both down. Even if he switches out to Landry's and gets the Intimidate off. I'm definitely going to knock out Queenie from that range. He could have gone for Nature's Madness on a Rotom though, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is he going for? Solar Beam? Eechee. Okay, 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 this is perfect. This is completely fine. Yes, so I definitely go for the rock slide right now. And then switch out into Rotom, most definitely. Most definitely. Because Rock Slide is going to outspeed Fini. If nothing else, well, I don't know, depending on what Charizard does, I'm pretty sure I outspeed Charizard. Yes. And I'm gonna knock out the Fini right now. And I do I knock out the Charizard. I do. I don't knock out Fini? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, we get the flinch! I don't know if that mattered, because we still have four Pokemon. But we get the flinch. What is going on right now? What is going on? Just because Rock Slide's not resisted, I honestly think I'm gonna bring back Tyranitar. Yeah, let's bring back an Age Slash. Um, and then let's protect this turn. Just to bait out anything. I probably should go defensive on this turn. But I, yeah, I think this is a win. There's no way you can come back with just two Pokemon. I mean, two against four? There's no way! That thing, that thing is bulky. Holy Jesus, that thing is bulky defensively. Okay, so we're gonna switch back into the Age of Slash. Fiendy's going for Protect. He's going for Earthquake. No, maybe Rock Slide. Earthquake. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, that is- yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's- I mean, that- that's- that's fine. That is completely fine. Um, at this point, I do think I need to bring out... Yeah, I do think I need to bring out Tyranitar. Just so that I can get off my sand. If I can get off the sand and have Excadrill faster, it'll help a lot. Most definitely. Um, and then from here... Hmm. See, I want to Ice Punch the Landers, but if he has Protect, then I'm screwed. Yeah, I think I just Ice Punch Thunderbolt, to be completely honest, just to be... Okay, perfect, 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 perfect! Yo! Yo! What is this, two wins first episode? What?! Why is this team is nice? This team is really, really nice. This team is really nice. Yo, and that guy was 1620-something, 1630-something. Yo, that was a nice battle. That was a really nice battle. That had me on my toes the entire- I mean, we we did- I mean, we was 4-0. But still, that battle kept me on- Or I think it was 3-0 in the end. That battle still kept me on my toes the entire battle. Because that- I mean, that could have easily turned the wrong way. 
easily. Um, but with that being said, I think we're going to wrap up today's episode here. If you guys did like the episode, make sure you guys go to hit that like button down below first because it really does help a ton. Um, if you had any suggestions or even team suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below with the QR code. Um, can we do the showdown paste thing, whatever it is? I, mean, I don't really mess around with showdown. Um, but that will help a lot uh, as I do. I don't, I don't want to always come up with the teams myself because um, then the teams are pretty much going to copy each other because I do know what, what works well in the meta. I know that much. Um, but with that being said, we will... I don't know what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, see you later. Bye.